Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back to another Dead by Daylight video. This is gonna be the first one that we've ever done for a lot of you guys with commentary, man. I'm glad to be doing it. It's gonna be a lot of work, but I'm so down for the reward, man. As long as my channel can grow, I have fun doing what I'm doing. Whether it's Dead by Daylight, Pokemon Unite, whether it's Arc Survival Evolved, we got new updates coming up for Guild Wars 2, whatever it is, man. I'm down for it, as long as you guys are there for it. Man, we're gonna get right into the new spirit game, man. Get back get back into the DBD and I play a couple spirit games today, and obviously the community is uh still not favorable to spirit. Oh you know East Around, my favorite killer. I'm a player. As long as she's in the game. Anyway, let's hop into this game, man. Hopefully everyone's doing a good time, having a good time playing DBD. Let's see how this one turns out. I like to run sloppy butcher, nurses calling, and uh barbecue and chili with uh, crows in the shadows, or spies in the shadows, excuse me. The reason why I love running spies on Spirit, for maps like this, especially when you get indoor maps, all you have to do is sound whore, and watch for your crows to go off, man, and go in that general direction. Most of the time a survivor, when they know that you're coming behind them, if you look at them for a split second, stop moving, they just automatically think you faced. Then you can go ahead and play around that, and give them a little mind game there. As you know, she's breathing behind the wall. I go ahead and ignore her and move on to somebody else who might be working on the gen. Hey. <laughs> she didn't see me coming, so, you know, at the end of the day, it's like peekaboo. So the other one's over there. She's already, you know, injured. Thanks to barbecue and chili. I see where she's at. I'm trying to play off a nurse's calling here. I'm trying to injure everybody's as quickly as I can, give or take, and I want them to go heal themselves. But instead, they get a little greedy and they play off this hook right here. Which isn't very smart, to be honest with you. You know you have a spirit nearby, for example, why would you stay in that vicinity? You know what I mean? They, they should have split up. This one here thinks I phased right to her. And I did, but slowly, you know what I mean? And I cut it short. Look, man, she almost got me this time around. Like, I, I didn't know that she was going to be behind me. I thought it was the other one, to be honest with you. But now that I know what she was about, she wanted to go for this save, which is fine, right? Because she's not doing anything else. Like, she's not going for gens. The other one's also not working on gen right now. She's still right here. So I have three right in my sight. I'm going to sit here and play by my hook. It is what it is. I don't know what she was doing. Like, she just... Oh, okay. You know what I mean? Like, hello? <laughs> I know that hurt, but goddamn. Our crows, like I said, you play with your crows, guys. I know she's crawling on the ground here still, so I know she's still in this vicinity, so crows pops off, right? Which is great. And then we got barbecue doing work. I hear her above me, but at the same time, I have information with barbecue where the other one's at across the map. So I have time to sit here and play with this one for a little bit just to see what she wants to try to do in here. So I had to give her a little mind game, see what she wants to do. And again, they're going to play on this hook. Give her a little love tap, let the other one go by for a little bit. So I know she doesn't have dead heart, so I might as well just take her down and hook her right quick. Barbecue doing work. So the one, the one girl that I slugged earlier, she's been there for what, a while now, to be honest? There it goes. I have to pick her up here. I have like almost no choice because she's probably close to getting up right now with that little heal. My nurse is calling. I already gave me the information I wanted. So she's got two options here. She goes for the down or she goes for the hook. She makes the mistake of going for the hook instead of rescuing the downed. At least for me. That's what I think I would have done in that scenario. Because now you guys only have one option. You guys have to run from me. Or go for the down, right? Obviously she's going to run because she has sloppy right now. So me, me playing by this hook is good. She's thinking I'm chasing her. Which I am, kind of. And I'm also mind gaming her at the same time. Nice dead heart. Right into me. And runs right back into a wall. Uh, 
So at the end of the day, at this moment in time, I'm sitting here trying to play on sound. I'm trying to listen for footsteps, see if they're running around behind me. But they're not, right now. And I know that she's down by the basement. So I might as well just take this one, you know, right to it. Yeah, she ran right past this area right here, so I might as well throw her in the basement. Hopefully that she'll play off this hook and come back to it. Cause this would just give me a giant payoff if she comes down here. And guess what? I already see scratch marks. This is my favorite thing about Spirit here. No other killer you can do this with. You just chill for a second and then think you're already going around. But I haven't faced yet, you know what I mean? Now there is a trick to this if you have a flashlight. If a spirit is standing in front of you against a pallet like that, you flash her in the eyes. If she gets blinded, it's the real spirit. Now, the counterplay to that is, as spirit, in that scenario, you always want to be looking at the ground, even when they're trying to flashlight you. So, when they hop over that pallet, just automatically start looking at the ground, as if they have a flashlight. That way, you can, you can still play that off. So if they flash you, they think they flashed you, and it's not working. They think you phased. And then we'll hop the pallet generally. Some survivors are pretty smart and they'll just avoid it all, all entirely. They'll just drop it early and keep running. She was a trooper, dude. She didn't care about me. She went straight down and rescued her. Right here, I'm thinking she may have a borrowed time. But by the way she's playing, I kind of just gave up on it. I do leave her though in case she has decisive strike. I don't remember if she did or didn't. So I come down here and hook her first before I even touch her. Now I know they haven't found Hatch yet, just because they have three gens still. So I try to play off of that instead of going straight for her to pick her up. I let her go ahead and crawl, but the crows already gave me the information I needed and which way she went to. Now this was dangerous, I thought the pallet was going to fall on me, but she didn't have that perk. But she did have decisive strike. So we let her go, because uh, she has only two options, is either look for the hatch, or go straight for the, the basement hook. And she's above me again. Like I said, for whatever reason they want to sit here and play on the stairs, when they're not doing anything to, you know, advance the game. So she dies on hook. Notice there's no scratch marks going this way, so you want a sound whore? She's sitting here hiding. Oh, no, no, no. We're gonna go ahead and wrap this one up and go ahead and hook her and move on to the next game. No BM. Just a general fun game. But, you know, at the end of the day, it took me a minute to get back to this point, because every single game I, I come back and play Spirit on, there's a, a lot of BM in chat, so it is what it is. It comes to the territory when you play Spirit. So when you have that mindset, and you just know that you're going to get raged upon, just, you know, keep going. You're not going to get better playing her if you just listen to everyone else, what they tell you to do. But what I mean is, no matter if you're winning, you're losing, you had a bad game, you had a good game, somebody will always give you flack at the end of the match for playing spirit just take it just take it what it is man just take it by face value nobody likes playing against spirit but if this is your favorite killer hey man if death slinger is your favorite killer even if you like pyramid head you know what i mean like they're in this game to kill people they may not be fair but again play dbd the way you see fit man hopefully you guys had a good time watching this learn a thing or two if not i'll do better next time promise man go ahead and leave a like subscribe whatever man do the youtube stuff this has been pause plays without raw commentary stay tuned man i have a lot of stuff to come i'll see y'all in the next one i'm out